All right, here we are. We're working on the homework that goes with um, net force on charges. So the, here's the question. Number one, three point charges, charge one, two, and three lie on the x-axis at where x equals zero, so the origin, x equals three centimeters, and x equals five centimeters. Now these are locations on the x-axis. These are not distances between them necessarily. We see that we have charges given, six microcoulombs, one and a half microcoulombs, and negative two microcoulombs. So let's set this drawing up right here. So we are at the origin. We are at three centimeters. And we are at five centimeters. Now what that means is your distance between numbers one and two is of course 0.3 meters. Your distance between two and three is 0 0.2, 0 0.02 meters. And then the distance between number one and number three is five centimeters. That's an important point that a lot of people miss on, uh, is that is that the two here and the five here. Now what we're asking for is up, 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 give the magnitude and direction of electrical force on each of the charges. So to do this, we need to do our calculations where we um, figure out the net force between each particle. So let's label these forces. We're going to have force 1, 2, 2 being the middle, force 2, 3, and force 1, 3. Now they gave us charges in the problem, and I'm going to trust that you can fill those out in your calculation. Um, so set up number, let's set up force 1, 2 together. Force 1, 2 is going to equal Coulomb's constant, that's our 8.99 times 10 to the ninth, times charge 1. Charge 1 from the problem is 6 microcoulombs. So 6 microcoulombs times 10 to the negative 6th coulombs um, times number 2, the middle charge is one and a half microcoulombs. 1.5 microcoulombs. And then we gotta take the distance between them, which is three centimeters, 0.03 meters, square that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that number. You're gonna calculate it and you'll repeat that process for charges two, three, and charges one, three. Substituting in the appropriate charge and then substituting in the appropriate distance. The real trouble comes between the signs of things. So number one's a positive, number two's a positive, number three's a negative. So when you wanna find net force for, for say, charge one. So force net for number one. You're gonna take force one, two, and force one, three, and consider them. And let's consider those here. Force one, two is a positive force. Or, you know, it's a positive answer because you get two positives, so it's repulsion. So number two will be pushing number one to our left. So force one, two is to the left. Force one, three is attracted. So number three will be pulling this other way to the right on number one. So that's to the right. So because those two directions are opposite one another, you'll need to subtract right there whatever your numbers come out to be for your net forces. For force, for the net force on number two, so it's in the middle here. Number one and two are both positive, it's repulsion. Number one will be pushing number two to the right. So force one, two will be to the right on number two. And then force two, three, we have attraction again. So it's gonna pull it to the right. So in this case, because we're pushing, we're pushing to the right and pulling to the right, we will add those up. And then for the net force on number three, it'll be forces one, three, and force two, three. So number three, they're both positive and it's over here. So two is gonna pull it to the left and one will pull it to the left. So number three is being pulled to the left by both of those, and so you'll add them up in that case. And that's just how you go about solving these problems.
Now let's visualize the problem for number two together, and then you can go ahead and solve that. So let's see, we have a, we have a square with sides of 15, so we're going to lay that out in a line. We're going to have charge one, charge two, charge three, and charge four. Starting at the upper left, so that would be this one, three microcoulombs, positive. Upper right, that would be this one over here, negative six microcoulombs. Lower left, negative 2.4 microcoulombs. And the lower right, negative nine microcoulombs. Each gap is 15 centimeters. So 0 0.15, 0 0.15, 0 0.15. Now that means that this distance is 0.3. And that means that this distance is 0.45. Also, this one would be 0.3. And uh, uh, I think that outlines all the different distances. I think. I might have missed one. But I'm pretty sure you can, you know, look at that and make the, the math there. So now you're thinking about yourself, how do I do this problem? You have to identify all the different forces. If we label this number one, number two, number three, and number four, we've got force one, two, force one, three, and force one, four. We also have force, well, we have two ones, we already have that. Force two, three, and force two, four. And then force, well, three, one, we already have it. Three, two, we already have it. Three, four. So that, we, we just made six forces out of these four charges. And what you would do is the exact same thing we just talked about. You would, you would solve for all six forces. And then we have to take these numbers and we have to do some comparisons. So, right here, uh, we have, if we're looking at the net force acting on, let's see, they say the three charge. That's this guy. So, number one. So, force one, two, it's going to be attractive. So, force, force net for number one. Force net for number one. Force one, two force one three and force one four and what we're going to do is we'll say force one two it's attraction the negative is going to pull on the positive it's going to pull it to the right number three is a negative it's going to pull it to the right number four is a negative it's going to pull it to the right and so we'd add those we'd add those up where it gets a little different when you consider one of the middle ones so force net for number two we're going to say force net for number two here. Um, let's see, force one, two. Number one will be pulling it to the left. Number three will be pushing it to the left. Oh, that works nicely. Two, three is going to push it to the left. And three, four, or number four will be also pushing it to the left. Force two, four will also push it to the left. Well, that works out nice and neat. And so you can kind of see how the different directions are going to happen. So you need to sit and work through these. And there's a lot of calculations. You need to practice that. All right, good luck.